Oi, oi, mobilisi. Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to RNG abuse for egg IVs in Pokemon Emerald. Um, so this one's a bit simpler than the egg PIDs because the only thing you're able to control uh, once the egg has been generated and once the guy right here is holding the eggs, the only thing you control from this point on is IVs. So um, if you are not RNG abusing the egg PID, um, then what you want to do is just go to the old man, have him generate an egg, save in front of him, take the egg, and check to see the eggs, uh, if the egg's nature is what you want, and if the ability is what you want. If both of those things are right, then, uh, just, uh, restart the game, and then you can RNG abuse from there, knowing you have the correct nature and the correct, uh, ability. Um, I have done that already, so, I got a shiny, a Larvitar, it's adamant, uh, and obviously Larvitar in Gen 3 only has one ability, so, but, uh, so there it goes. <clears throat> so once you have that, you just save in front of the guy. Um, now, to properly abuse the uh, IVs of the um, of the child, you need to remember two things. You need to remember the order that you put them in the daycare, uh, and you need to know. Whoa, whoops! And you need to know um, both parents' IVs. Uh, both are super helpful. Um, so, with that out of the way, uh, all you need to be doing is save in front of here. Uh, the only thing you need in game, really, I think, is this. Uh, a slugma, they can either have heat, flame body, or magma armor. Those are the abilities. Uh, they can have either one, and both of them reduce the time it takes to hatch eggs. Um, <clears throat> so with that out of the way, let's get into the RNG reporter. Uh, so you're going to need RNG reporter and Dion timer as per the usual. Um, and then in RNG reporter, you're going to Gen 3 mode. Um, from here, you're going to go into Time Finder and 3rd Gen Time Finder. Oh, and there's uh, one thing I should quickly mention is this is only for Pokemon Emerald. Uh, this will not work in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. There is a way to RNG, as you can see here, in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, but um, I'm not going to talk about it. So, with that out of the way, let's move on to Emerald Shiny, uh, Emerald Egg IVs. <clears throat> so, for here, you're going to uh, click Split Spreads, and you're going to type the spread of stats that you want. And then you're going to type in the stats of the parents. So, I have 31, 31, 31. And this is 20, and this is 14, and this one's 31. Um, and this one's 31, 31, 31, and it's like 1 and like 14 or something. Uh, and then you're going to hit Generate. One second. I'm gonna... Okay, so the problem here was uh, my... <laughs> My max frame, uh, it's a default to so max frame to like 5,000, um, you need it to be much higher than that. Um, because this spread right here, uh, if I swap the parents again, but I can't, yeah, right. so this spread right here, this is the lowest possible spread for a perfect physical sweeper, which means the, the least amount of time you have to wait for a perfect physical sweeper is 4 minutes 11 seconds, uh, 0.95 of a second. So that super sucks. Um, and if you click Show Inheritance, it'll tell you where each individual stat is coming from. Um, so HP and Special Defense and Special Attack are all generated on their own, and then the other three come from the parents. So I'm getting my perfect attack from the second per uh, parents I put in. I'm getting my perfect defense from the first parent I put in. And I'm getting my perfect uh, speed from the first parent I put in as well. Um, uh, now, so besides this, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna you're gonna take this frame 15, uh, 11, 7, and you're gonna put that into uh, here. So 15, 11, 7. Um, and you're gonna leave that there. That's fine. Oops. And then you're gonna go into here, uh, the main window, and you're gonna do. Um, Breeding emerald splits And you're gonna hit uh, starting frame. You're gonna make it pretty close to the frame you're aiming for so we're aiming for 15 11 uh, 7 so I'll do like 15 100 we'll just we'll just do that and uh, So this is the one we're aiming for 
and this is uh, just all the frames that are kind of near it, so we can figure out if uh, our we were correct in the uh, the frame that we're aiming for. Um, so one of the things you're noticing, uh, I'm sure, is what is splits, uh, what is no splits, and what is alternate. So uh, sometimes, if you're kind of in a weird, I, I don't know how the game exactly decides it, but like 15, 7, uh, or 15, 11, 7 S, what that is doing, it is pulling, um, instead of doing this, it's pulling like the beginning of this one from uh, 15, 11, 7, and then it's pulling the rest of it from a different frame. And I'm not entirely sure why it does that, but uh, yeah, it's a little interesting. Um, so... You can see split spreads and regular spreads at the same time, so you know if you got this, you hit it exactly the correct time, but the problem is uh, the game just decided to do a split spread at that point. You can't really aim for them, it's just helpful seeing what they are. Now alternative spreads are sort of like split spreads, but they're just different, they're completely different. I don't know how the game decides when they're going to show up, but the same it's basically the same thing could happen as a split spread. where. You hit the time exactly correct, and for just bad luck, you just won't get the right thing. Um, so the reason I have it show splits is just because it's, it's pretty easy to discern. Um, uh, it just shows more information, that's all. Um, sorry, I'm rambling a little bit here. Okay, so with that out of the way, uh, what you're going to want to do is have your game up, have your Eon timer up, and you're going to... I set the pre-timer at 5,000, so it just counts down 5 seconds, uh, and then I hold all my buttons... <clears throat> and then I'm going to soft reset when this hits zero. So I soft reset when it hits zero. And what you want to do is, uh, don't worry, you're not, there's not going to be four minutes of like dead air. Uh, what you're going to want to do is talk to the man, accept the egg, and on the last dialogue box, uh, which he says, take good care of it, um, that's when you're going to hit A when the timer uh, ends. So I'm going to pause this video, and then when this timer hits zero... Uh, then we will be able to see, uh, <clears throat> when the timer hits zero, I will unpause it so we can you can see me collecting the egg. Alright, uh, thank you very much, and I'll pause now. Okay, we got eight seconds left, and um, I'm just going to try and hit A at the exact right time. So here we go. Okay, and now I hatch the egg, so uh, <laughs> I will see you guys again in probably like five minutes when I hatch this uh, Larvitar egg. So, pause the video again. Okay, uh, egg's about to hatch, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do when this is happening is I'm going to open a Cerebi stat calc. Like I said, it's shiny, I knew it'd be shiny, I uh, RNG abused the PID, so you could check that out yourself if you want. Alright, so it's this one here. Okay, let's, wow, these are crazy good stats for a... Uh, a level whatever uh, Larvitar. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, so before I level this thing up, I'm going to uh, check its uh, what its IV's potential are for a Larvitar. So type in the Larvitar. Here, let me show you what I'm typing in. It's so Larvitar. It's Adamant. It's level 5. Uh, and I'm just going to take the stats here. Whoops, 10. This might actually be it, like, already. Calculate individual values. Okay, what can the special attack be? Wow. So this is a <laughs> This is a super good, uh, Larvitar. Um, this already has potential to be it. Uh, let me check what my... Stats are so my uh, it's supposed to be 21. Um, so what I'm going to do here is now normally I don't like doing this, but what I'm going to have to do is uh, I'm going to have to spam level this thing up to a higher level to confirm it. But normally, if I think it's the correct one, I would save. But since I RNG'd the shiny there, I'm not going to save, and I'm just going to end up like I'm going to have to waste like a bunch of my rare candies here. That's just what's going to have to happen. So I'm going to spam level this thing up to like, uh, I don't know, 30-something probably. We'll see. I'll meet you then when it's done. Okay, I've leveled it up to 20, and we're going to recheck the stats here. Um, okay. So, try it again, see what's happening. Uh, four. 
25, and we're going to hit calculate. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, so there you go. This is not it. See, this is why uh, I did not save, because then I would have had to re-RNG of use the shiny one. Um, so what I'm going to do from here on is, see, this is why... <laughs> It just looked good, but it probably wasn't that good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing to 50 with all my rare candies that I got here, uh, which are not hacked in, by the way, or whatever. They are, uh, I just did, like, the clone glitch a bunch of times. I have, like, 10 million cacneos. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to level this thing up to 50, um, and then we're going to check its stats then, and then we're going to find out what frame we hit, and we'll go from there. Okay? Pause again. Okay, so I believe I found the frame I hit. So I've typed in all his stats to be to tell me what they are, and it took me a while to find, but it looks like I hit this frame, which is um, not, it's pretty far off, uh, it's, it's pretty early, because uh, I was aiming for 15, 11, 17, but it's still 4 minutes, 11 seconds is still what I was going for, so I'm going to type this as my frame hit, and then I'm going to retry, 1, 5, 0, and uh, we're going to give it a retry. Hold on, I'm going to actually have the game on screen for this. And I'll pause uh, once I am uh, hatching the egg, guys. Okay. Seven seconds left. Here we go. Alright, and uh, hopefully... I got it, but you know, you never know. Alright, and I'm gonna pause now. Alright. Uh, let's see what we got. There's my boy. Shiny and perfect. And let's see here. Twenty one's a good sign. Yo, these stats are sick. Alright, so these stats are good enough to potentially be um uh, perfect all around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. And the thing is, if this is the wrong one, there's a way to uh, ensure that you didn't waste your PID abuse and you can go back to before this save. You can you can glitch the old save. In. So I'm going to save here. And I'm going to spam level M250. And uh, we'll get back to you once he's at 50. Okay, so I've spam lots them up, and I've put it into the IV calculator, and if you take a look, it is the perfect, uh, perfect, uh, pupitar. Or it will be a T-tar eventually, but pretty sick. So I'm gonna restart my game, so I don't have to waste all of, uh, the, uh, time. However... Um, so if that was the wrong one and I had saved with this thing and it was the incorrect one, right? What you can do is, uh, you can go to the battle tower, talk to one of the women in the- So you save, you level it up, it's wrong, right? Okay. You reset the game, you fly to the battle tower, uh, you go into the battle tower, you talk to the woman, uh, and when she says, is it okay to save and you hit yes, there's a space where there's no text for like two seconds. Turn it off during that space, and it'll, the the save file will corrupt, and it will revert to your previous save, um, which should be in front of the daycare man. Uh, I've had to do that before, and I'll probably have to do it again doing emerald breeding. But uh, there you go. That's how to uh, abuse IVs in this game, and that's the whole of emerald uh, RNG breeding. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video, which should hopefully be stationary Pokemon.